Okay, this is night three. I'm a little buzz right now, but uh, we're going to play Dantooine. Finish I finished up all the side quests in the previous video. So this is the third uh, video of the week, and it incorporates going into that area where Revan found that he's Revan or whatever, the stupid robot and shit. I'm fucking buzzed right now. So, let's launch the game. Come on. Good old laptop. Since I'm so lazy, I don't want to invest in a more expensive rig. Oh, I do have one. Lucas Dix. Why'd you sell it to Disney, you fuckers? Bio dick. My bio dick. Yeah, there's Malik. Fucking little dick. Vader wannabe motherfucker. Okay, so last we left off, we were. Yes, cheats used. Because I had to progress the game because I modded it so much that it broke. <laughs> Oops. Alright, where am I? 9 hours and 57 minutes. I just finished the Matali and Sandro Fuel, which, if I look at my uh, quest line. The Jedi Council has ordered you to investigate some strange ruins in Dantooine. It would seem that this one of the palace or places Revan and Malak visited when they were on the planet, and it may hold some key to their fall. Okay. Karth Bostula. Dead Settler. Okay. Alright. So let's get on with Warp speed, bitches. Just finish the Sandro Atali shit. Go to the grove. Oh. Why am I slow? Pasta. Pasta. Pasta Jedi go pasta. <laughs> uh, we must go faster. These idiots are still stand standing here. My mic game is so uh, modded that this group of Mandalorians were attacking. Now they're just stuck there. And um, I had to progress it in the game script in order for it to go. What is this? I forgot how many caves there were on Dantooine. Just ran into a wall. I could have sworn when I played the Xbox version, there were two caves. Who knows? Perhaps, young Jedi, you are in error. So I believe the ruins are on this side. I'll just hop around like a dang monkey. Uh, <laughs> bitch. Die. I did turn down my in-game volume because it was a little too loud. Why is he charging? Motherfucker. You want to get fucked? So be it. Watch this shit. Watch Red and Sexy Bostula. I can give a force jump. <laughs> Fucker's dead even before you do so. Okay, so here we are at the ruins. This is where it all starts. The ruins, yes, Peter. The ruins are and is where Revan's fall started as he came to Dantooine with his answer. To these things called the Starforge maps. Alright, so here we go. Into strange ruins. Ooh! Oh, uh, let me save it again. I have my uh, OCD when it comes to saving, make sure nothing happens to the game. I was debating if I should change out Karth or Mission, which I made her a Jedi, but the party banter is pretty fun with Karth, so we'll take him. Here. A burial mound. Domes in Scotland. This is the place. This is where Malik is. This is the place where we shall fall. Do you believe this is where the Dark Jedi's home?
these games were. They were so good back then. So much, so playable, it's ridiculous. There's this ancient droid. What in the what are you trying to say? What language is that? What are you trying to say? Bastion. <laughs> Bastion, do you have any idea what this droid is saying? I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. <laughs> Hey, I understand that. I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. Why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? Communication tracks ensure that the slaves struggle with the temple according to the wishes of the world. But you are not the slave species. Neither are you of the builders. You are like the one who came before us. It must be okay. referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. Duh. What are you? Why are you here? Are you some type of guardian? Slaves, the monument, the power of the Star Wars, the construction all slaves are executed. The program to serve you to build a return to search for the Star How long have you been here? My chronological search is marked with the tenfold revolution of the entire system of the planet, the process of the killers of death. Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. Uh, there must be some mistake. Who are these builders you keep talking about? The builders are the great masters of the galaxy, conquerors of the worlds. Rulers came from an empire that was created from the Star Wars. Yeah, these builders must have been an extinct people, though it is strange there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. She's so hot. The droids speak Selkath. Maybe they were the builders. Something must have happened to wipe the builders out. Maybe the builders referred to the Sif. The Empire of Builders is in by a new master. Let me just stand against the point. Have you seen a builder recently? What is the story? I have been in here ever since the creation of the army. All that time, no builder has to turn to some information on Star Wars. That's an old droid. What is the Star Forge? Star Forge is a glorious builder, the apex of their Empire. It's a machine of the hands of my tools to stop the conflict. But what is it? What does it do? Could you be a little more specific? Don't really. <laughs> The droid is obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. The Star Forge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. In fact, it could be anything. Could it have been a factory or a weapons plant? Maybe. 
That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet so quickly. But I suspect the Starforge is more powerful than a mere factory. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. Or can we find stuff? What is your purpose here again? Oh, I hear it. Tell me about Revan and Melon. The ones who came before. They proved themselves They discovered the series of Starforce locked me on the seal right now. There was another who failed to unlock the secrets of the ADL the droid must be talking about poor Nemo. The council sent him here to investigate, and it cost him his life. Did you kill the Jedi over there? I am not programmed for him, I did not harm him when he failed. The temple's own protection is how can I prove myself worthy? Enter the proof grounds of the East and West, and the souls of the that will build a building all on for seeking the most favors. Those who fail to destroy the power of the temple itself. More than this, I am not going to answer. Revan and Malik unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Starforge. Now Malik is using the Starforge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Starforge. The Republic is depending on us. Okay. Okay, let's loot Nemo's body. <gasps> Revan's mod robes, Revan's double bladed lightsaber, Nemo's journal, Jedi Knight robe. Get my wow, watch this shit, bitch. I shall become what I am and have always been. Revan, Knight of the Old Republic. Revan's double bladed lightsaber. Cool. Oh shit. I am back. I am Revan. I, the one who seeks the power of the Revan, reborn. I am going to save this right here. You slot. You slut. Revan, reborn. Bitch. Fucking sick. Let's go. Silence, this screen blank, if you're extremely nervous, press any buttons at random, machine stand silent. In 
insert your data pad into the receptacle. The computer seems to interface with your data pad. The scene goes blank again, and then more familiar characters begin to appear on the screen. Press it just a little bit. <laughs> oh, wait, continue. Oh, oh, she had three primary life giving seed will types. Uh, identify three primary life giving seed will types Oceanic, Grassland, and Operator. Life, breaking life seal. What? Did I do it right? <laughs> we shall see. Wreckage. Okay. Let's go to this side. Stupid joy, get out of my way. No, bitch. what Revan and Malik found when they entered this temple. Starman. This must be where their journey down the dark side began. What is it? This is a, a map. Some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Revan and Malik must have used this to lead them to the Starforge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Starforge ourselves. But we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. So what is the star for you exactly? What does it do? I, I don't know, but Revan and Malik were very interested in finding it. It must be a tool of some type, or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the Council can tell us more, but I think this map might be the key to finding the Starforge, whatever it is. See this world here? This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashek and Tatooine, and here's Manan. But there are pieces missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates, corrupted data. 
and there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Star Forge itself might be. Oh, it looks so sick. Perhaps those worlds have more clues. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Star Forge, but I know that Revan and Malik visited Corbin at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Star Forge in some way to destroy it. That sounds like quite a supposition. What if you're wrong? What if I'm right? We can't ignore this. Finding the Star Forge might very well be the key to defeating the Sith. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action, though I suspect our task has only just begun. Cool. So, that is the Star Forge. We found it. I broke the stupid computer. Now I'm wandering around this shit thinking that it will direct me to the right spot. Hey, where the fuck did my party go? Alright, so now I can turn in some shit. Um, stupid ass Nemo over there. You have proven yourself for the seal doors open. You wish you to see the star first. I can the room beyond. Okay. Oh, what do you are you gonna turn the star? Okay, I already asked you that shit. Off. All right, I looted your dumbass body. Stop! Oh. All right. So I'm gonna turn in some quests and then speak to the duck, dumb fuck uh, council. But at least I got double bladed lightsaber. Sweet. Hoppity hoppity. Okay, so I am back. I'm going to save it right here. Oh, where am I? Okay. And then I'll conclude this video because I just need to Dantooine talk. Dantooine looks peaceful enough, but packs of cat hounds roam these plains. We need to keep our guard up while we're out here. Okay, guard. What happened? Save the game. So this concludes my video for tonight. I'm getting tired. I'll turn everything in later. Adios.